So telemetry, it's uh, great stuff, not the simplest thing to set up if you've never done it before. So I'm just going to give you a quick run through of what you need to do. So if you're doing this yourself, you can um, probably save some headaches. Alright, so first thing you need to do, I've started off with a fresh model, so we're starting from scratch as you would be. So we're just going to go into the linkage menu. Now this is the first thing that you can get caught out on. It does need to be on the T-FHSS telemetry system, so that's the top right. Uh, when they come out, they're set up on the super response mode. Now that one doesn't have telemetry, so you do need to link it up in the correct mode. So that's the first step. So in order to do that, we just power it up. Power up the uh, ES to the receiver, that is. We just hit the link button. There you go. <clears throat> so you put it in link mode first on the controller, then you press the button. Links up straight away. Alright, close that. Press the home screen, we'll exit out of that. This is the home screen on the 7PX as it is. What we want to do is go into the user menu. Arrow left, we'll come up to the telemetry part. Uh, you can see all these different sensors listed out here. The only one that's showing any volt, anything at all is the uh, receiver. So it's reading the uh, BEC voltage, which is 5.5 .5 volts. Right, what we need to do first is actually register the sensor. So in order to do that, we need to disconnect the sensor from here. And it needs to be plugged into the side of the 7PX. So it plugs into here. Once the sensor is plugged in, you just go into the sensor and you need to register the sensor. So by selecting the register button, are you sure? Yes. Registering succeeded. Very good. We'll close. Okay, so once we've registered the sensor, we can unplug it from there, plug it back into the receiver. Okay, now back in the radio, we'll just go back to the telemetry section, and now it's actually showing us the um, the temperature. It's actually giving us a temp of 25 degrees, so that's correct. It's about 25 at the moment. If you go into the sensor list, it shows up on this screen. If you have other sensors, obviously the um, current sensor, RPM, etc., they'll show up on there as well. You can change the positions. Now, if we go back to the home screen, you're still just looking at this. So you're not seeing, you've got five and a half volts up here, which is the BEC voltage, but we've got no temperature on here. So in order to get that there, we go back to sensor and home screen, we select on. Jump back out, brings us up to this screen. Still don't have the temperature on the screen. So you actually click on whichever one you'd like it to display on and you can actually select in here the sensor will select temperature you can also set a minimum and maximum range and voila so 25 degrees it records the peak for you which is pretty cool that's pretty much it if you do want to set alarms you can actually do that as well it's actually in the telemetry menu if you click on the temperature sensor in here, you can actually set minimum and maximum temperatures. So this seems pretty handy to me. The alarm, I'm going to set it on as a buzzer and you can actually put um, different vibration modes. So I can, I can actually tell without looking at it once the motor temperature reaches, we'll try 75. We don't really want to get it too much hotter than that anyway. Um, about 80 I think is as hot as I'd ever like to go and really you're in danger territory there so 75 and below you can also set a voice if you like which is uh, interesting could get a bit annoying it just uh, repeats over and over so when you're driving though it does save you having to look at the controller so that could be handy I'll turn it off though because it gets annoying very quickly and that's pretty much it, so hopefully that helps you, saves you a little bit of mucking around if you do try and set up telemetry. Look out for the video where we give this thing a run, put it through its paces, and we'll see if we can't break something. And remember, if there's anything from Wild to Wild, we've got you covered.